What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. Here we are once again, and well, for one day I can say no new highs, uh, but I think there was a lot of interesting things that happened in a market that was once again extremely quiet and slow. Uh, we did see a little bit of a pop in the VIX, about almost close to a dollar. Uh, I think you saw um, the Russell and the Nasdaq under pretty heavy pressure, with the Russell down about 150 points in the future, and you saw the NASDAQ down over 40 in the future. Those are pretty big, that's pretty big stuff when you look at it, and they were down far substantially more than the uh, S&P and the Dow. Uh, I think another interesting fact that you can look at from today's action is these were all key reversals. What does that mean? A key reversal is when a market opens up on its high and closes on its low, especially when they open up on all-time highs and close on the lows. So again, we've seen this before, but this is the first time we've seen all four major indexes at one time have the key reversal at the same time. The question would be, is this the start or is it just another buying opportunity? I can't answer. It's really tough to call. You know, again, with the lack of volume and the lack of overall interest, it makes it very tough. But a couple of things that would be concerning to me would be the following. It's been 242 days since we've had a 3% move in the markets, okay, a down move. Now, that's a record. By far, it's a record, and there's no catching up, all right? So, again, every day we do this, it becomes a bigger record. Probability states that there's probably a 3% sell somewhere around the corner. It's 16 months, okay, or a year and a quarter since we've had a 5% sell-off. That hasn't happened since the mid the early 90s, all right? So there are two signs that based on history, and all we can do is based on history, we look for the footprints all the time. So all we can do is say, okay, that could be indications of things that aren't so hunky-dory now. We can look at, is the tax cut a buy the rumor, sell the news? Are we going to see a sell-off either way? I would be more inclined to see that. In fact, I said that on Varney this morning, that I would expect a correction under any circumstances but it may, be, it may come from a news item I, that like the, the, the tax cuts that, that don't get approved or do get approved, but we're, we've already been pumping it in. Now, I think one of the important things, and I heard something today that really kind of disturbed me, and it was how great the market is performing. And again, I'm not going to say the market's not performing well. I think it's running very well. But when you force individuals into one asset class, which is what we've done, you can only invest in the stock market if you want to try to get some return or some yield. I think that is a much bigger problem. I think that's an ordeal because you are forcing, you are directing, not intentionally, maybe or maybe so, but you're being pushed into the equity markets. That's where everybody's being pushed into. Now, when we look at the bigger picture, I think the economy has lots of issues. I, be, I will venture to say, and I will make a bet on this, that we're going to get GDP on Friday. I will bet you that the last quarter, which is over 3%, will be adjusted, lower. I don't think we have the ways to get growth. I think this is one of the problems. I think we keep listening to these promises and this hope, which is non-existent. So at the end of the day, again, I'm not telling you to go out and sell tomorrow. I'm saying you got to watch this market. There are a lot of things happening that are not really clear and when you see these things start to happen, this is just this the start. Again, we can sit back and wait all we want and say, it's easy, just buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. But eventually, the dip buyers are going to get dipped. They'll be like in Dairy Queen in the chocolate sauce, right? This is the problem when you have a market that has so much complacency built into it that it doesn't matter. Now, you're seeing a lot of action in outside markets. I don't know if you caught it today, but gold was kind of under pressure all day. And, and Trump mentioned something about the uh, new Fed chair, who it might be. Gold spiked about 6 or $7 off that announcement. Because the next Fed chair, I cannot be any more dovish than the current one. Now, if he keeps the current one, then we know what we have. But if he brings somebody new in who wants to hike, you're going to see hikes in rates. That will be long-term bullish, short-term bearish. Okay, 
So there's a lot of indications out here that don't make a lot of sense. Now, the other thing is, and I just want to bring this up, they talk, keep talking about the NFL and the, and the Star Spangled Banner, the, the uh, national anthem. And, and of course, I'm way against them kneeling. I'm, I mean, I'm, I believe that that's not the right venue, but it is their right to do so. But the point is, they keep talking about, well, look at all the empty seats and look at the, the ratings are down. Well, let's, let's just address those two things individually. The empty seats could be that the average American who usually fills those seats doesn't have any money to go out and spend $300 to go to a football game, right? You take your family, it's $300. Tickets are, you know, I mean, Chicago tickets, bear tickets, good tickets are $200. So if I want to take my wife, it's $400 plus whatever I eat when I'm there. So it's a $500 day. A lot of middle class people can't afford that right now. And then they talk about the ratings. Well, you know, a lot of these games have moved to cable. There are now games on everywhere. So it's hard to say that the ratings aren't good between the NFL ticket, the Red Zone channel, and, and, and NFL, NFL Network, which not everybody gets, Fox Sports Network, which not everybody gets. So unless they're on national TV, we not necessarily can watch them. So there's a lot of things. And again, I'm not saying that's the reason that ratings are down, but that would be something that I would be thinking about first because football being the number one sport, mostly because of the gambling and the fantasy, but that would be things that we would look at. In the meantime, we'll have to observe again tomorrow and kind of see what these earnings start to look like. But earnings have been okay, again, if you like contracting companies. They have not been good if you want growth. And of course, this whole agenda is being built on growth, which we're really not getting it right now. So let's see what, look, what it looks like tomorrow. Let's watch the markets, all right? But look for interest rates to rise. Look for the ECB, which speaks later in this week, which could have a dramatic effect. And let's really get a, a better view. Again, one day doesn't make a trend. These key reversals have happened. But again, this is the first time we've seen all four at once. So let's kind of check out what looks like tomorrow. And we can have probably a more, more clarity and a better look at the markets. And remember this, okay? Markets are there 241 days a year. They're open. You don't have to get in today or tomorrow. You can find the right spot to enter. And also remember that this is Bubba's Daily Update. And if you've checked out my Patreon link, which is patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading, I thank all of you who have donated so far. We're trying to keep the high school program in business and keep it going. And of course, I have funded it myself for the last six years, and now I need a little help funding it. So if you want to help out, please click the link and check it out. You get some special perks that go along with it. And also don't forget, forget to catch the Bubba Show every single day at libertytalk.fm, 2 to 3 Eastern Time. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Daily Update. Thank you so much for being here. We will see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same station, Bubba's Daily Update. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you later.